Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I've got a lot of great stuff today and let's give you a preview of what's in today's video. We have three valet trays, a black shell cordovan valet tray, a color eight shell cordovan valet tray, a black chrome XL valet tray, a color number eight reverse Apple watch band, an amaretto shell cordovan two-piece watch strap, color eight shell cordovan key fob, natural shell cordovan key fob, Color number eight, marbled shell cordovan, Tony the Ant. Black shell cordovan, Fat Herbie. Color number four, shell cordovan, Johnny the Fox. Color number eight, Chrome XL, Johnny the Fox. A new 100% English tan, Johnny the Fox. An amaretto shell cordovan, Johnny the Fox. A natural shell cordovan, Frank the Enforcer and a natural Lancaster Johnny the Fox. So I do have a bunch of new flash sale and irregular items that, that are up on the flash sale right now. So by the time you see this video, they will already be up there. And we do have a Father's Day deal going on right now for 10% off. So you can stack that code with some of the irregulars and one-offs that are on the page. But we'll get to those in a minute. Let's take a look first here at this really beautiful color number eight Shell Cordovan. And this is a marbled shell cordovan piece. Wow. Check out that really cool texture on the outside of this guy. So unlike the new tumbled shells, the texture on the Color 8 marbled is still very smooth. It visually appears textured, but it is very smooth, very much mirror-like, like a normal piece of shell cordovan. And these are how the Color 8 marbled shells are looking recently. With a little bit more of this subtle contrast of color, Sort of a nice smooth gradient of color. On the inside here, it's a little bit more dramatic, but man, this is one of the coolest looking marble pieces. And I, I feel like I say that a lot, but man, the marble shells that are coming out of Horween are just spectacular. Here's a color number eight reverse Apple watch band. And this one has silver hardware on it. So we make our Apple watch bands and they're sized to fit the larger Apple watches, regardless of the model. So the Series 5 is the new one. I believe we've only fit the larger one, which I think is 46 millimeter Apple Watch. And for the older styles, we only fit the larger uh, strap lengths for the larger sizes of the Apple Watch. And that's because these lug adapters are only sized to fit those larger Apple Watch sizes. So this one in Color 8 Reverse is really nice because on the wrist side, the part that will touch your wrist is actually the shell cordovan, which is super smooth and very nice to have touching your wrist. I like our straps, including the Apple Watch Band, because they're unlined. So all these unlined straps are much more comfortable in my experience, and they mold and conform around your wrist. So here's another unlined strap, and this is a small little guy. This is, <laughs> happens to be in my favorite shell color too. This is the Amaretto Shell Cordovan two-piece watch strap, and these are also unlined. This one is an 18 millimeter and it looks to be a short length. So this is as small as we make them. And we have two different lengths when I talk about the lengths of our strap. This is the small length. So this longer piece is 105 millimeters long and the other piece is 75 millimeters long. So that's one of the sizes and the other size that we measure is the width between the lugs. So we do different sizes here. This one is 18 millimeters from this side to that. We also do a 20, 22, and 24 millimeter. I have a couple key fobs to show you. This one is in color eight shell cordovan, the classic shell cordovan color. Just recently, we started doing this antique copper uh, split key ring that I like very much. I think it fits the aesthetic of the shell nicely. We also have this natural shell cordovan key fob. This one's gonna age uh, and develop a nice patina for you. Here's one of our valet trays in black shell cordovan. And you can see it's black on the outside and the reverse side of the black shells are that greenish tan color. It's sort of totally random. So sometimes it's a little darker, sometimes it's a little lighter, but on these valet trays, we're offering them at a discount because we can't, it doesn't make sense to me to charge what these have to cost cutting real uh, perfect shells into a piece like this because it would be hundreds of dollars. So what we're doing is we're cutting small imperfections, things like scuffs and scratches, sometimes scars into the bottom side of the valet tray. That side that sits on the table and you don't see it, 
that's how we're able to keep the cost very reasonable on these valet trays. And here's a color number eight Shell Cordovan valet tray. And right now we only make these in one size. I've been getting people that have asked for different sizes. Maybe we'll make a more rectangular one. Uh, but I find this fits things uh, pretty nicely. Um, you do have to stack things on top of each other if you have long pieces. But you know, I have a iPhone 10 here and that fits just about perfectly into the center. And I've been using this new Giant the Fox and I'll show you how that fits. So the Giant the Fox fits in there as well. Some larger items might stick out a little bit. Um, so we, sh we should consider a different size or an additional size to this. My worry about doing a larger size is it's probably not gonna be able to be made in the shell Cordovan just because of the limitations of the size of the shells themselves. So I'm a little worried about that, uh, but this is a color eight shell Cordovan valet tray. One more valet tray to show you today. This is our black Chrome Excel, and I really like the black Chrome Excel valet trays because the grain side of the leather is black. The inside we've stained and finished with a resin finish on the inside to make that all black. And then we use mill dyed leather. This is mill dyed Chrome Excel, which is a little bit uh, of a different version of Chrome Excel. It's a little bit of extra work to uh, fill in the cross section of the leather with that black. And that's what mill dyed means is when they drum dye uh, the leather, they put all the leather into a drum and then fill it with dyes and it penetrates through the substrate of the leather and that's what mill dyed black is. So you have a couple great wallets or several great wallets to show you that are shipping out today and these are orders from yesterday that we're shipping out today so you should be receiving these soon. And on that note, we've been seeing some minor delays with international shipments of about a one to two weeks and some countries have been even more like a month longer than we expect. And I think that's what's happening uh, just as a consequence of the pandemic. So hang tight, you'll be getting your stuff. If it doesn't arrive, you know, we'll make special arrangements to reship you another one. Don't want you to be left hanging. But this is a natural Lancaster, Johnny the Fox. And I just finished using my natural Lancaster Fat Herbie. I really enjoyed the aging experience on that. It's very much a slow burn of change. So if you want something that changes very slowly and stays a little bit lighter, I really like the natural Lancaster. And the biggest change in patina for the Lancaster is the luster. So you can see here, it starts off almost like a matte finish, but once you wear it, it starts to develop its own little sheen from almost inside of the leather. And it gives it a nice little bright, shiny face to it. So almost more of a wet look when compared to uh, the brand new, more of a matte finish here. Here's one of our Frank the Enforcers in natural shell Cordovan. Check out the shine on that. This is a very bright and shiny, smooth piece of shell. I like the Frank the Enforcers. I, I suggest these to most of our minimalist customers. This is a perfect front pocket wallet because you can carry cards in uh, all of the three or four card slots, but in this fourth one in the center, you can also fit US dollars folded in half. So here's another piece in my favorite shell color. That's the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. And man, every piece of Amaretto Shell just uh, mesmerizes me. And I really like this vibrant orangey tan shade. And it does tend to change color quite dramatically depending on what angle you look at it. So you can see at this angle, it's a little bit more of like a reddish brown. And then at more aggressive angles, I notice it turns a little bit more of a vivid and vibrant orange, which is awesome looking. I, I like the, the way that this just changes color right before your eyes. This is a special Johnny the Fox because we've paired it with a custom horsehide Latigo interior. And the reason that we had to custom make the interior leather for our Johnny the Foxes is because there's so many layers of leather. We have to naturally pick, or <laughs> I should say we should pick naturally thin pieces of leather to keep the bulk down. But we also had this challenge of making it very strong and durable. And I wanted something that would age and get nice. So that's how this horsehide Latigo came about. It's just a little bit of a thinner option on our Giant of the Fox. Now here's the Giant of the Fox that is brand new as of yesterday. This is our English tan Dublin Giant of the Fox with an English tan Dublin interior. We're calling it 100% English tan Dublin. And yesterday I started wearing mine and I'm really happy with how it looks loaded up. You know, I have a lot of stuff in here. I was, I came from a Fat Herbie 
And now I'm down to this uh, John of the Fox here. I should count these cards, but I've probably got 16 to 18 cards in here right now. And I'm really enjoying it. I got some cash in the back, feeling rich, um, but I'm enjoying this one so far. I'll be documenting this Johnny the Fox, trying to see how it patinas over time. Up next here is a color number eight Chrome Excel Johnny the Fox. And this is one of the most recent colors. It's the second most recent uh, color on our Johnny the Fox. And we had not made the John of the Fox and the Color 8 for a long time. We just started doing it just a couple weeks ago. And I really like this shade. And I especially like the batch of Color 8 Chrome Excel that we've been cutting from recently. You should be able to see it here on the video. It has this really great sheen to it. It's not as bright and mirror-like as a Shell Cordovan, but it's super smooth. The way that the tannery has finished this one and filled in the grain, give it a nice polish. Just a really great piece of chrome excel and all the color eight chrome excel that we've been cutting from has just been absolutely amazing i think it's probably the best batch of chrome excel that we've seen in a long time and here is the last and final color number four shell cordovan giant the fox and it's uh this one's a special one we did a limited run where we had color four horse hide interiors with the color four shell cordovan on the exterior and it's kind of bums me out when we do the limited stuff because it feels like the day I sell these out, I get a lot of people asking for them. So just in the last day after this guy sold, I've received half a dozen emails of people wanting it. And I just feel badly because I have to turn them down. Um, but I wanted to give you the last look at this limited edition color number four shell Johnny the Fox. And the last wallet that is shipping out today, this is a black shell cord of Fat Herbie with a black shell cordovan interior. And we do a lot of crazy stuff. We accept custom orders or semi-custom orders where we let you choose different things like the leather colors and the leather types and thread colors. So sometimes people get pretty intense and they want something very unique where they'll put four or five different colors of shell on one piece. Those are super fun for me to see. But it's also very satisfying oftentimes just to get one nice color. And I think we see that on, on like the color four uh, Fox that I was talking about. I think people also like this really clean look where you have the same color on the outside as well as on the inside. And on the black shell Cordovan, this is another classic shell color. I really, really like the way that the black shell reflects light. It just looks super, super sleek. It's almost like a modern look which is actually pretty appropriate for this modern uh, wallet style. Okay, let's get on to some of the flash sale items here and I'll slowly bring these out. I've got a handful of items, different wallets, and today we've also got a couple of watch straps. So let me show you that first and I think this one is sold even before I can make the video here. This is a black reverse shell cordovan watch strap. And we've actually hand glazed this one. So it's got a little bit more of a wet look, a little bit more of a sheen to it. We filled in that reverse side of the shell uh, with just a little bit of extra uh, hand glazing. So it has a really nice look. And on the opposite side, this is the black shell. So on, on this strap, the black shell cordovan will actually be touching your wrist. Uh, and I think it's just super comfortable. In fact, I'm wearing a, a black reverse Apple watch band right now, which is, I'm having a hard time showing you. Uh, but the other thing that makes this watch strap special is that we've done some hand stitching to close down the fold on this strap. So you can see we've complemented the reverse side of the black shell, that greenish color with some green thread to try to make it match. And here's another watch band to show you. This is our intense blue shell cordovan Apple watch band. And this one has silver hardware and you can see this is also unlined. What makes this guy just a little bit different is that we've included some red stitching to uh, contrast that a little bit. It might be hard to show because it's so small, but there's a red stitching to close down the folds on this watch strap. All right, and I've got a few irregular items here. This is a Bugs Moran in color number four shell cordovan. This one is an irregular that might be difficult to see, but on the right side here, there are some very subtle scratches coming down from the top, going sort of diagonally down to the right. I'm gonna try my best to show you that here, but they're super fine. It's really hard to see 
Either way, they're there, so we're discounting this one as an irregular. On the inside, more color number four shell cordovan. So this is that great clean look again, and one of the more rare shell colors. Here's a blast from the past. So I've got a black shell cordovan Louis Little New York. This was the second wallet style we ever did. In fact, Nick Horwin actually designed this style. He thought it'd be cool to make a asymmetrical card holder. So that's why this one folds over asymmetrically there. You can see it doesn't close all the way across the top. It doesn't fold in half perfectly, and that is by design. And the idea was to have one side on the left here, this side to hold your most popular cards, and the side on the right to fit folded cash. So for many years, we were selling a lot of these Louis Little New Yorks, and I think we've seen the demand for them fall off. So we had some other more minimalist styles come about that have replaced the Louis. We can still make it, uh, but I, I tend to like our new styles a little bit more. We do have this one here. It was sitting around because it's an irregular. You can see right here on the bottom, the shell cordovan has become, we call this reefing, when it dries in an uneven way. It's just a little bit folded over. It, it's kind of like a crease, uh, but that's also kind of subtle. I would expect that one to subside just with normal use. So this is a color number eight shell cordovan giant the fox, and this one is an irregular because we have some small scuffs and scratches on the outside and on the left. There's actually this quite large healed scar. So we're gonna put this one at a little bit of an extra discount. And this is probably a wallet that is several years old that we've just been hanging on to. And the reason I can tell is because this ink stamp on the center is an old Horween ink stamp that they haven't used in maybe half a decade. So this one's been sitting around for a while. Really interesting color eight shell on the outside with a color eight reverse interior. Here's another um, item that we sort of stopped making. This is our World Traveler Passport Holder in a brown Chrome Excel. We've actually replaced both of these things. We've replaced the brown Chrome Excel with more of the English Tan Dublin. I think those colors um, sort of crossed over a little bit too closely. So I decided to replace the brown Chrome Excel with the English Tan Dublin and also the World Traveler. We have a new passport holder design that has not been put up on the website yet, but we are accepting pre-orders on that. I like that design more. So we've replaced the World Traveler passport holder with our new passport holder design. This one's on the flash sale page right now. And the last item for today, this one is a stunner. And I really, really like this Fat Herbie color eight with the, it's a double reverse color eight. But in addition to that, we've got some hidden card slots on the inside. So you can see our normal two cards on the left and normal two cards on the right, but underneath here, we have this little hidden flap. And we've actually stitched this one down. So there's four card slots on each side of this Fat Herbie. But what stuns me about this one is just the aesthetic of the interior of this reverse interior. Man, that is so cool. I love the random die marks and the, just the stains on the left and on the right. And then on the back here, we have that really great Horween ink stamp right in the bill slot. So some really nice items and some regular items going up on the flash sale today. Hopefully you're able to pick one up. They've been going pretty quickly and with the additional 10% off coupon code we got, it's probably a good time to pick up um, a nice little deal for your dad. We're also doing some free monogramming right now. So definitely take us up on that offer if you're into that. And uh, man, I've been enjoying this, fat, this Johnny the Fox here. I almost said Fat Herbie because I've been using a Herbie for so long. Uh, so I can't wait to see how this guy wears in. It's already looking great. So thanks for checking it out. I'll see you again next time.